Grey-bellied Grey Wren babbler is mostly found in Myanmar with some birds occurring in adjoining areas in China and Thailand. There has been only one previous published report of grain-bellied wren babbler from India. One of the two specimens collected from the mountain slopes near Gandhigram, Arunachal Pradesh back in 1988 was identified as grey-bellied wren babbler by ornithologist Pamela Rasmussen and she included this species in her book Birds of South Asia in the Ripley Guide published in 2005. Seeing such a rarity is a birder's dream and we decided to plan a trip to those mountain slopes to search for this bird. To start the search, we had to first reach Vijayanagar, a village where the Lizu community lives that is about 82 kilometers from Miyavo. From Vijayanagar, it is a two-day climb in the Himalayas to reach the altitudes where the grey-bellied wren babbler were believed to occur. In the past, it used to take 6 to 7 days of trekking through the Namdapa National Park to reach Vijayanagar. Though there was an old road from Miyavo to Vijayanagar, it was not in a motorable condition. Recently, the road repair work had gained pace and hopefully it will be ready soon. Once the work is completed, the journey from Miyavo to Vijayanagar can be covered in 1-2 to two days. During our trip, the road work was still going on and even a 4-wheel drive vehicle was struggling to make progress. The whole team had to work together along with the driver to get through the difficult sections. There were times when there was no road at all and we had to drive through the river. And over the rocks. After many days of meticulous planning and preparations, we reached Vijayanagar on 21st of March 2022 and we checked into the PWD guest house which provides a comfortable accommodation with an amazing view. Yolisa Yobin, Biki Barua and team were tirelessly working to make sure that we are happy and comfortable. First few days were spent bird watching in the forest around Vijayanagar. Then on 24th March we started our trek to the Mugafi peak. During the initial sessions, we had to overcome some difficult challenges, but the good birding that followed compensated for these difficulties. Soon after, we started our climb to the first base camp, it started raining. This slowed down our progress and birding opportunities also got reduced. We were back in high spirits on the second day of the climb, when we had to first encounter with our target bird. Though this first encounter was a frustrating experience due to the bad weather, low visibility and the skittish behaviour of the bird, we still managed to get some good views of the bird and few audio recordings. Due to the incessant rain, we could not get any more sightings during the trek. After two days of climb, we reached the second base camp. Since the rain was not letting up, we decided not to climb further. We spent the next two days birding around the base camp and searching for the rain babbler whenever it was not raining. To our great joy, the rain babblers were calling from all around the camp and we could count at least six different individuals. Over the next two days, we managed to get a few photos, videos and audio recording of the rain babbler. Based on what we saw and heard, we realized that the bird is not a grey belly rain babbler as it had a whitish belly instead of grey and its song was different from that of grey belly rain babbler. It was also slightly different from the next nearest relative, Naga rain babbler.
since the weather was not improving, we started our descent back to Vijayanagar. After a brief stop at Vijayanagar, we continued our journey toward Miyavo. MV road passes through wonderful habitats with amazing bird life. And few short breaks on this path gave us some good bird sightings, ending the trip on a high note. The findings still now has been summarized in an article in Indian Birds. Hopefully, this will trigger further research and bring clarity on the taxonomic status of this bird population. Thank you.